And now, very much to the surprise and chagrin of many Miamians who remembered the glory days of movie houses, the 50-year-old Miami Theater at 147 Flagler Street has been closed, and it too will become a shopping mall. Three South American businessmen purchased the Miami Theater around the end of last year, and they plan to spend $3 million to transform it into a three-story shopping mall, with room for 46 stores by the end of this year. At one time, downtown Miami had over a dozen movie houses, if you count the porno shops. And now, there's only one legitimate theater. That's the Rio, at Northeast 1st Avenue and 3rd Street. You could say it's downtown Miami's last picture show. C.T. Taylor, Channel 4 News. Amidst construction to make the downtown Miami theater a modern shopping center, relics of an old art form have been saved. The neon marquee letters emblazoned on the facade of the Miami Theater were officially donated today by the Latin developers of the property to the Historical Association of Southern Florida. The group plans to display the collector's items in its new museum in the downtown cultural center to open in 1980. The letters, genuine examples of the post-World War II decorative style in architecture, are one of a kind. The sign and the letters, the neon, the, the porcelain uh, material that the letters are mounted on are all handmade. And the fact that they will never be duplicated, no one will make marquees anymore. Observing the letters, Miami cements its link with history. They are a reminder of the late 1940s, when Hollywood and movie houses had their heyday before the advent of television. The Miami Theater, called the Showplace of the Americas, was built in 1947, when Miami's population was 200,000. At that time, the downtown area was a glamorous spot in which to eat, dance, and attend the show for an 88-cent admission. Its inaugural performance was on April 18th, 1947. The opening of the new Miami Theater by the Wometco chain. And for the occasion, the new motion picture feature has its southern premiere, Carnival in Costa Rica. And we see movie star Celeste Holm arriving for the brilliant event. The opening of the Miami Theater attracts a scintillating first night audience. The crowds and the fanfare that greeted the old Miami Theater upon its opening are things of the past. The next gala premiere on this site will be one of a completely different nature. Ana Asqui, Channel 4 News.